Welcome to this Wednesday. We have a little bit more of a grinder piece. We're gonna go for 15 minutes. The volume per round is not gonna be that high. You guys are gonna be definitely accumulating a lot more rounds here today. So for that 15 minutes, you'll be doing five burpees, seven pull-ups, followed by 20 double unders. The burpees will just be a traditional burpee. Just get on the floor, get off the floor, you're able to jump over anything. Uh, the pacing on that should be kind of a moderate pace. You guys don't want to go too fast through those. Uh, those burpees will probably take anywhere from about 15 to 30 seconds, depending on how fast we're going to be doing those burpees. From there, you have seven pull-ups. You should be choosing a variation on the pull-up if you happen to have a pull-up bar that you can pretty much shoot for unbroken through majority of these rounds, if not the whole entire time. If we don't have a pull-up bar, no big deal. We'll be doing some single arm rows for you guys. You guys will alternate between rounds, followed by the 20 double winners. The 20 double winners shouldn't be eating up that much time either. We're probably looking at somewhere around 15 or so seconds for the double winners. You guys need to be choosing a double on variation or single on variation that you can kind of knock those out. The biggest thing here is we want high uh, repetition speed here. So we want you guys to move consistently and quickly throughout this whole entire workout. It's all about just staying moving. For the goal today, we're probably saying overall somewhere around that 10 to 12 round range is going to be a good roll, the kind of good goal to try to shoot for. So just a tad bit under over a minute per round. Uh, I think some of the faster scores will probably hover closer to that 15 round marker, give or take a little bit. So some about an EMOM style overall for this Wednesday workout. Welcome to the warm of an activation for this Wednesday. Kel's all business, got the hair up today. So no hair flowing, he's all business. So starting off with your warm up, you guys have six minutes, easy arm wrap, six minutes at an easy pace. You guys are gonna do 10 hammer curl to presses, just getting the upper body warmed up, especially more the shoulders. So you'll curl, press, back down. All right, you'll do 10 reps there. Uh, obviously try to use a lighter weight if you have it. If you don't have a lighter weight, just bring down the volume. You can do single side, that's perfectly fine. You have 14 lateral hops. Uh, this is to be over a dumbbell or over a kettlebell or just over a line, whatever you got. So this is jumping over, jumping back, two, three, four, okay? Seven per side. Make sure you watch out where you're jumping. And then you guys are gonna go into 15 per, or yeah, 15 reps per side, single unders. So this is a single foot, single under. That'd be one foot at a time, there we go. And, 15, and then 15 reps on the other side. So just moving through that nice and easy for six minutes. Your activation piece of this warm up, you guys will move into two rounds. You're gonna do 20 Superman. So just being on the floor, prone position on the belly. Uh, from there is arch up, hold that top position for a second, come back down, 20 reps here. Just kind of getting the uh, lower back and the glutes warmed up there. Um, from there, you're gonna move into a single arm Arnold press. You'll do eight per side. So from there, the way it's gonna work, palm's gonna to face towards you. From there, as he presses, he's gonna rotate that dumbbell where the palm's face forward, and as he comes back in, he's gonna reverse that, all right, just like so. So palm forward, all right, rotate palm first and forward the other way, and come back down. And then you're gonna finish off with a 15 second per side isometric row hold. So that'll look like you row, and literally just hold that isometric position like this for 15 seconds on one side, and then 15 seconds on the other side. It's getting the lats and the biceps prepped up and ready to go here today. And that concludes the warm up and activation for you guys. Some pre-workout mobility for you guys. We have a single leg forward fold. So you'll have one leg that's kind of brought in like so, and then from these it's gonna fall forward. We'll camp out there for 90 seconds per side. Next up you guys are gonna do a little ankle stretch. So you'll come up to like a kneeling position. Um, what we like to think about doing here is putting the weight on top of the thigh and really driving the knee out there. Try to keep that foot relatively flat. Um, I like to personally kind of elevate the front of my foot up on like the mat or just like something real small. That way you get a little bit more ankle stretch in there. You'll do one minute per side there. And then lastly, you're gonna do thread the needle. So once again, we're gonna lay down on the belly. We're gonna shoot that arm underneath. The biggest thing is keep the shoulders square. Don't rotate off to the side. Um, you wanna feel that stretch kind of on the back side of the shoulder, maybe a little into the shoulder blade. And you guys will camp out there full minute per side as well and that's your pre-workout mobility. The footage yeah. there. All right, uh, movement demonstration. We don't have a whole lot to talk about. It's not a very fancy workout by any means. Uh, you guys starting off with, you do have burpees. This is a traditional burpee. Chest and thighs will make contact with the floor. All right, come back to the top. This is a small little hop. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, I'm not gonna go into crazy detail. Uh, from there you have seven pull-ups. Obviously we're not gonna necessarily talk about the pull-up for you guys. We're gonna talk about if we need to substitute out 
for not having a pull up bar. Um, so we're gonna either do one of two options here. You guys can do, uh, so you have two dumbbells, you could do a dual dumbbell row. So you guys would be in this leaned over position, driving the elbows back, all right, and you'll do uh, seven reps here. Now, it just depends a little bit, because me and Kelvin literally just talking about this, is if you have heavier dumbbells or moderate sized dumbbells, Seven's gonna be perfectly fine. Um, the seven pull-ups isn't a high amount of volume either, so if somebody's pretty proficient at, at seven at pull-ups, seven's not gonna be a crazy number for them. Um, so same concept here is, uh, if it's kind of a moderate to heavyish dumbbell, seven's gonna be perfectly fine. We're not looking for you guys to like burn out on those. Now, if the weight's like extremely light and you're like, dude, I don't even feel anything's going on here, you could increase that number a little higher to maybe like 10, to maybe as high as 14. 14 might be a little too high, but probably somewhere around that 10 range. Um, that's if you have a pair of dumbbells or kettlebells. Now, if you only have one dumbbell or kettlebell, you guys have uh, one or two options here as well. You could do a single side, do seven reps on one side. The next round, you'd come back and do seven, round, seven reps on the other side. Or you could still do a dual dumbbell row or kettlebell row and hold it by the heads of the dumbbell like so and still do like a, a, a rowing motion like that. That's also an option. Um, or you could do a kettlebell row. If we're gonna only have one kettlebell, um, you could do it like so. You'll hold it either by the handles like so, you could do that. You could hold it by the bell. Um, it's really your call. Just whatever feels comfortable for you there. Kel said personally he's done this before and it's really, really tough. Um, you guys want to try that variation out for yourselves. Uh, so just kind of experiment, guys. Obviously, we're not looking, li or living in a perfect world case scenario right now. So just kind of experiment and see what's going to be the best stimulus for you. We're just giving you guys as many options as possible. And then lastly, you do have double unders. Um, we're looking for you guys to shoot for un unbroken sets of double unders, ideally. Uh, obviously, you need to bring down the volume. You can bring down the volume. Or you do single unders. Now, if we don't have a jump rope at all, uh, what we're going to recommend is just lateral hops. So you just laterally hop over your dumbbell or kettlebell, and you would do 20 reps there, all right? One, two, three, four, five, just like you did in the warm-up here today. That'd be your substitution if you don't have a jump rope. That's movement demo. Extra credit and post-workout mobility. Uh, so starting off with the extra credit, you guys have, whatever, I don't remember what I was gonna do now. Uh, RDLs and what else? Yeah. Blooper time. Now I'm losing my train of thought. Bang, bang, boom, I don't know. Oh, a supinated kettlebell or dumbbell row with a three second lower. Lost my train of thought there. So the, the single arm or supinated row, it's going to look like so. Um, so it's going to be single arm there, Kel. Uh, so the palm's going to face forward, kind of hints the supinated position. It's going to hit a little bit more of the bicep as we do this. So he's going to row three second lower and do 10 repetitions on one side, 10 repetitions on the other side. Now, if you happen to have a pair, um, you're still more than welcome to do it two at a time if you want to. Um, but sometimes just doing one at a time gives you a little bit more mind-muscle connection with that one side. So the biggest thing is keeping the palms facing forward. You do the same as that concept with the kettlebell. Just keeping the palms forward is the main concept here. All right, just like that. All right, but keeping that three second lower each time. You have 10 reps on each side. Uh, if you guys only have a heavy kettlebell or heavy dumbbell, you can lower that volume down. If you have something a little bit too light, uh, you guys can do more repetitions, or you could even increase that lowering down to maybe like five seconds and make it a little bit more difficult. Uh, from there you have single leg RDLs. Um, you can use a kettlebell or dumbbell here. Whatever hand the dumbbell, it, or whatever hand has the dumbbell or the kettlebell, that same leg's gonna travel back. So it doesn't look like this. All right, we're really focused on that front hamstring, just like so. Now, uh, as we do this, the biggest thing is maintaining good spinal line. We're not rounding. You wanna feel that tension through your hamstrings the whole time. So if you can't go all the way down, that's perfectly fine, not a big deal. If you have some balance issues, grab a wall or grab a post or something like that to help control you as you do it. But you'll do eight per side there. You'll go through that for three sets. Your post-workout mobility, mobility, you're gonna do still stretch. Um, just kinda of work on the abdominal wall. You'll press the chest up high. All right, you'll camp out there for one minute. You'll do a single leg forward fold. All right, just like you guys did in the warm up. Leg tucked in, reaching down. You'll do one minute per side there as well and then following off with a tricep stretch. It's an old classic tricep stretch. So um, you can do it seated or standing, doesn't really matter. So Kel's just gonna act like he's scratching his upper back. He's gonna grab that elbow and kind of pull that arm down into the side there. All right, and you guys will camp out there, four minute per side as well. And that concludes your Wednesday workout.